Hi, um, I'm Jody Kane. I'm happy to share my home studio with you uh, as much as it is. It is a definite work in progress. Uh, a little bit about me. My background is that I'm a self-taught artist. I am a, a teacher and I'm a learner. Over the past 25 years or so, I've welded, I've quilted, I've painted, um, I'm playing with ceramics right now. For probably the last um, 25 years, I've supported myself in some way with being creative. And for the last 10 of those years, I've been working in mixed media. And mixed media is really whatever's on my table. It can be Sharpie, wax pen, oil pastel, acrylic. Uh, I like to play and layer and add in bits of, of paper and paint and spray and stencil and use weird tools. And uh, basically playing with all of this stuff is what uh, makes my ha myself happy and uh, when I see my art customers looking, my clients looking at my work and smiling, that means I've done a good job, so. I've worked with The Shack over a number of years, uh, including 2017, working on creating their fresh meat poster. Working with the Teen Night, as well as uh, being an art educator, I've assisted in, I've taught classes for fellow art educators throughout the Snohomish County, offering clock hours and continuing education, um, professional development for teachers. Um, also, I just cannot be more appreciative of the opportunity that the Shack offers to not only local artists, but uh, kids and teachers with field trips. Uh, I've got several buddies, retired teachers that come and um, volunteer man, uh, man hours and share the love of art in our community and promote art for our kids. Um, a little bit about my tools. I like to reuse things. My favorite items are vintage. Um, not only the feel of the paper, but the, uh, the text as it comes through the layers, um, including tissues and sewing patterns. Um, if you see here carefully, there's ledgers actually from my grandma's antique store, um, old graph pa papers, uh, one of my absolute favorites. And you can see in here stencils with, um, that I've used in my, with my spray bottle, um, and my old school stencils layered over and over and over. Those are some of my favorites. Sometimes I just start, if I don't know what I want to do next, I'll just add another stencil um, and layer on. One of my favorites is, this is a rain gutter stencil from the hardware store. This is um, an embroidery um, it's meant for rug hooking, I think. I'm not really quite sure. Uh, fruit containers. And of course, the old school real life stencils. Um, other than that, uh, Starbucks cards, gift cards make the best paint scrapers. Uh, old battered paint brushes are among my favorites. Paint pens. And my favorite acrylic is a fluid acrylic. 
uh, by Golden because you can see through the multiple layers and I can water it down. I can use the media to show off uh, the different layers that are poking through. Uh, the, my final top layers tend to be uh, graphite and uh, I personally love the Ticonderoga, my first pencils, uh, trirites because uh, they're easy to hold and they're triangle shaped and they don't roll off my table really. So those are my absolutely favorite materials. My space is in the middle of my kitchen and you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty dang lucky my husband has realized I'm gonna work in the middle of everything anyway, so he kind of built it into our new space here. I've only, we've been here for a year and a half, and the space is definitely evolving. There's not a right or wrong, which is my absolute favorite part about this. Um, I've always kind of debated about being professionally trained versus not being professionally trained. Um, I guess it's easy to break the rules if you don't know them. <laughs> uh, and I struggle enough with following the rules. I don't think I want to know what they are. I just like to make things that um, make me, I want to make things that make me feel good. Um, and hopefully they make others feel good, right? There's always another do-over. Uh, this is our kitchen island kick plate. No, that's the right thing to call it. Um, originally it was painted white plywood, but it wasn't interesting enough. So I decided to just add some details and I've got stencils and herringbone, which matches actually the countertop up here. Um, and we were, we looked for quotes that made us think about the lake, but on the lake. But really what it comes down to and what we wanted to focus on um, was that we love the fact that we can sit and look at the lake or watch the birds or watch the ripples on the water um, with wonder. And we hope that everybody that visits us um, looks at things with wonder and takes a little more time here at the lake. And that's what I hope what people look at when they see my art and look at the little details. If they really, really looked closer um, at, say, one single flower, you can tell it's a flower from a long ways, but if you look closer, you're gonna see a lot more texture um, and a lot more interesting to, interest to every little piece. <laughs>